So we look to these statements for an indication of future direction of government policy through consultations. Were there many consultations issued by the Chancellor this time around? Yes, so we've seen a similar amount of consultations um, being put on the table overall. However, the key difference this year is that it's a much fewer number for which the uh, Chancellor has actually launched them today. Right. So it's only a handful that he's actually pressed the go button on and um, are now open for submission, which I think is a reflection of uh, the state of uncertainty that government is in at the moment and possibly also just um, a reflection of the state that all of these government departments do have extremely long to-do lists mm. with their Brexit planning at the moment. Okay, so what are the main planks that, uh, of consultation that he has pressed the go button on? I think the biggest theme we can draw is um, his commitment to the Bay's industrial strategy. So um, three of the key ones are um, the impact of minimum wage. We've also got a review into infrastructure finance, mm. as well as a CMA study into the um, digital advertising. Yeah, I think that's really interesting. For me, for my media background, I have so many of my former journalistic colleagues uh, just tear their hair, about, hair out about the extent to which uh, digital platforms, Google and Facebook, have hoovered up uh, the advertising market and has made it very difficult for a lot of newspapers. Uh, so a lot, of, a lot of pressure being put on government on those big digital giants. Yeah, and this um, review also comes following one that has been concluded today. The government's just released its um, report on the Furman Review, which looked at um, the whole digital economy overall. Okay. Daisy, thanks. We'll see how those proceed.